Thank you, Dan. We're halfway through January, and some of you may still be trying to be figuring out how to stick to that healthy eating resolution you made. Our Hallie Pilot speaks to a nutrition expert who says sustainability is the key. You hear it from your friends all the time, and maybe you've even said it yourself. Lose 20 pounds by this date, drop six sizes by that date. I'm guilty of it too, but those really aren't sustainable in the long run. Food and nutrition guru Dr. Taylor Wallace says smaller incremental goals are better. Choosing food products that have optimal amounts of protein, that are high in dietary fiber, and that have healthy fats in your diet. What about carbs and sugar? Should we avoid them entirely? Sugar is a huge driver of both the obesity epidemic and heart disease, which is the number one killer of Americans. So he says to minimize sugar in your diet. As for carbs, it's not about cutting them out, just choosing the right ones. Focus on fiber-rich carbs that are present in fruits, vegetables, and whole grain products. He says try to stay away from simple carbohydrates what we call refined carbs found in things like white rice, white bread and white flour pasta. Those simple carbs are converted by our body to sugar during digestion and we call this the hidden sugar effect. The extra sugar gets stored in your body as fat. So instead of a bagel for breakfast, he says go for something high protein and low carb. I love avocados. They have healthy fats. They're very uh, rich in vitamins and minerals, uh, which we need to uh, sustain health. Another idea, swap out French fries for baked turnip fries or lasagna noodles for zucchini, because Dr. Wallace says small changes add up. In Sarasota, Hallie Pilot, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And you can visit Atkins.com for more healthy recipe swaps.